Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Today I will be showing you guys a brand new money glitch because yesterday a lot of you guys were annoyed that there is so many players at that location. Sky, can you please bring out another video? Well, here you guys have it. Also, before we get into the video though, I just want to say thank you so much for the amazing support you guys gave to yesterday's video. I know I came back after a week, but I still appreciate you guys sticking around and being the bros. But that's out of the way, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video. Hope you guys enjoy! So to begin with today's video, first of all, I just want to tell you guys something really important, which is this intro is going to be a little bit longer than usual because I just want to explain something to you guys. So when I posted the video yesterday, some of you guys were like, Sky, when I go to the location, there's just so many players there, I end up having no money. So can you please post a different location or a different money glitch, which will be a little bit easier to do because there will obviously be less people there. Well, that's what I have for you guys in today's video. Video. This location, which I'm about to show you guys today, not many people know about it. I'm pretty sure you guys will make a little bit more money than what you made in the other one because in this location, the only things you guys find are platinum or gold, which is obviously the most expensive things you guys can get in Red Dead Online. Now that's all out of the way to begin with this money glitch. First of all, what you guys will have to do is make your way to the location that you guys are seeing on the map. So as you guys can see, there is three sisters on the left side. If you just look for three sisters on the map, once you find it, go a little bit to the right and you guys will find the small house. You guys just need to put a waypoint to that house and make your way to that location. As you guys can see, I was already there so I didn't have to waste my time riding the horse. Also the horse gets tired really quickly so make sure you guys Guys take your time and slowly get here now once you arrive at the house open the door and then turn right and then turn right again and you guys will see this white cabinet all you guys need to do is search the drawers so as you guys can see I'm just gonna open the bottom one first and you guys will find the jewelry when you take it you guys will see it will be platinum or gold I found a platinum pocket watch which is the most expensive jewelry you can find in Red Dead Online you guys know the pocket watches are the most expensive one and the platinum one is obviously the best one once you guys have looked through both the drawers go a little bit to the left and then pick up all the food items and anything else you can find you might even find some portions then once you have done that go a little bit to the left and you guys will find a few more things such as tonics or just anything that will help you survive in red dead online now in the gameplay you guys will see from that left corner I just walked out of the house. Do not do that. Just look around the whole house. You guys might find few more jewelries. But once you guys have looked around the whole house and you have picked up everything that's in the house, what you will have to do is make your way out of the house, bring up your pause menu, make your way to online, click on free roam and accept the alert. From there you guys will be loading into a brand new Red Dead online session and from there you guys will be able to do the glitch. Also at this point I I just want to tell you guys something very important which some of you guys might not know which is if you guys are playing this game with a friend and you don't want to leave your friend to just make money in Red Dead Online, what I recommend you guys do is why not just do the money glitch with your friend? What am I trying to say? So if you guys actually do this glitch with your friend, you guys will both probably spawn into the same session. At that point, if you guys actually go to the house, you will be able to pick up the jewelry and your friend will also be able to pick up the jewelry. I'm pretty sure Rockstar is going to patch that glitch, but what's happening right now is if someone picks up something in Red Dead Online session, it does not despawn for the other person. Which is obviously really good. If you guys are doing this money glitch with your friend, both of you guys can just enter the house, pick up the same jewelry. If you get something platinum, both of you guys are going to get richer. The, hopefully this tip actually helps you guys out to stick with your friend and also get your friend rich while you're getting rich. But out of the way, once you guys spawn into a new session, you guys will notice that you will be very close to the location, which is obviously the three sisters. As you guys can see, I just spawned in. It was really dark because it was nighttime. But once you spawn in, just open up your map, put a waypoint to the house, run to the house and then start robbing it again or just start taking the jewelry and everything again make sure as I said try to pick up everything you possibly can if you don't pick up some things it's just gonna be you losing out on it 
So as you guys can see, I just made my way back to the house in the gameplay. From here, I just need to enter the house from the front door, start looting it again, make sure you loot as much as you possibly can. The reason this house is perfect is because the amount of loot that this house gives you is just crazy. As you guys can see, when I look in the drawer, I will at least find one jewelry, and that jewelry is amazing. Also, that person had to ruin it by killing me and uh that might happen to you guys so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that don't be like me where you're like you know what man i'm gonna be a cool kid and i'm just gonna go ahead and loot while someone is around me if someone is around you make sure you go ahead and kill them before looting the house so that person might be doing the same thing as me so he killed me, he picked up the jewelry, and then he found a new session. You guys will see in the gameplay, even though he killed me and he picked up the jewelry, when I go back to the house, I will be able to pick the jewelry back up again. That's why I gave you guys a tip. If you guys got a friend, do it with them so both of you guys get rich at the same time. As you guys can see, the guy is still in the house. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and try to shoot at him, and then he just leaves the session as he was just finding a new session. Once that happened, I went ahead, looted the house, and everything was still there because things do not despawn it's just crazy how exciting it is that things do not despawn you guys can go ahead and pick it up again and there you go i found a platinum bracelet which would obviously sell for a lot of money from here once i've looted everything i just need to find a new session go ahead keep looting you guys can actually make a lot of money and get a lot of things that you guys can use in your normal red dead online days but it's out of the way thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you guys did make it to the end write in the comment section saying sky clouds and i'll give you guys a heart because i do appreciate you watching the video till the end also if you guys are new to the channel i highly recommend you guys subscribe and turn on your notifications so you guys do not miss out on daily red dead redemption 2 videos like this and if you just want to be part of the squad and do not want to miss out on daily red dead redemption 2 videos as i said try to go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification now also at this point i just want to say one thing which is my voice is still not back to normal so i'm so sorry if you guys are getting annoyed of that because in yesterday's comment section i saw a lot of you guys talking about it like sky why do you sound so different it's just because i came back from five day holiday and there i lost my voice and uh, it was really cold as well so i kind of got sick at the same time so my voice is kind of really messed up hopefully in two to three days it goes back to normal i'm so sorry if that is annoying you but i can't actually do anything about it i'm still trying to get out videos for you guys so if you guys appreciate the hard work make sure you guys also smash the like but for now hope you guys will have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys later i'm out peace